Hey guys, thank you for joining me. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the procedure of getting your SCR rifle lower receiver assembled. This is for customers who just purchased their SCR lower receiver assembly, and they need some guidance on what it all comes with, what's in the box, and what to do now in order to assemble it with your upper. For those unfamiliar, SCR stands for Sport Configurable Rifle, and it is a platform that we have designed which makes it possible to install any standard mil-spec AR-15 upper receiver assembly onto our lower receiver. So when you first get your SCR home from the dealer, you're gonna need an upper receiver assembly, including the bolt, the firing pin, and the cam pin. Now, many customers already have an existing AR-15, and for those customers, that's great, they're already halfway there. But either way, the process is very straightforward once you have those parts. Now, one thing I wanted to mention also is the fact that this procedure for assembling your SCR lower with your upper is gonna be the same regardless of whether you have one of the SCR pistols, in other words, one of the Raider or Bandito lowers, or the SCR rifles, which of course are the full-size platforms that we manufacture. They go together the same exact way. But moving back to your lower receiver, in the box, when you open the package, you're gonna have the lower receiver. It's populated with the trigger and fire control group and also the mag release and your bolt catch. Those parts are already going to be in the lower receiver, ready to go, including even your pivot and takedown pins. Also installed on the lower is going to be the buttstock on the back end and inside the buttstock is the buffer assembly integrated into the stock. So there really is no assembly required as far as the lower is concerned. In the box, you're also gonna have this package that includes the only proprietary part that goes into your upper receiver for the SCR. This is the SCR bolt carrier, bolt carrier strut, and dowel pin for the SCR. These items in this package, we can set them aside for right now and focus on getting the upper receiver ready for installation. Now, if you already have a complete AR-15, this is where you're gonna pull your bolt, your firing pin, and your cam pin in order to install them into our SCR bolt carrier. So to do that, you're gonna go ahead and start with separating your upper receiver from your lower receiver. You have to open up the pivot and take down pins. Once you have your upper receiver off, you can open and pull the charging handle backwards. When you're pulling that back, your bolt carrier group is gonna come with it. And the charging handle can be pulled down and out as well. Set the charging handle in the upper aside for now, and let's focus on the bolt carrier group. Now this procedure is the same exact thing you would be doing if you're gonna field strip your rifle in order to clean it. Anybody that has already done this a million times, you're already familiar with this procedure and you don't need this part of the instructions. However, for those of you that haven't done this before, it's really simple. The first thing you're gonna go ahead and do is push the bolt back into the carrier. And then if you look on the left side of the carrier, this is your firing pin retaining pin. You're gonna pull this out and set it aside. And now if you rotate your bolt carrier up, you're gonna use gravity and your firing pin will slide out the back of your bolt carrier. So the cam pin is now ready to be removed, and in order to do that, you rotate it 90 degrees so that the cam pin head can clear the gas key, and then it comes right out. Now once the cam pin is out of the carrier, you can pull the bolt straight out of the face of the carrier. So you pull this out, and now you should have all three of the items that you need in order to assemble the SCR carrier. So now we can grab your carrier from earlier, and first insert the bolt into the face of the bolt carrier. You're gonna align the cam pin hole right here on the top. Take your cam pin, Put the narrow end parallel to the gas key and it will drop right in place if you aligned your bolt correctly inside the carrier. Now you're gonna to wanna to pull the bolt sharply forward and reach in there and rotate the cam pin just like we did before, 90 degrees. Once you've done that, you'll be able to insert the firing pin straight into the back of the bolt carrier. You press it forward and now you can take the carrier strut and bring it into the back of the slot down here. Align the hole on the side of the carrier body and take your pivot pin and gently slide it through there and make sure it's flush basically with both sides of the carrier. Now that you have your bolt carrier group assembled, you're gonna to wanna to grab your upper receiver and take your charging handle and insert that into the back of the upper receiver. It has a key here and sort of like a track that it snaps into. You should be able to slide that in there, but you can leave it open just a little bit so we can take your bolt carrier group. Make sure your bolt is pulled fully forward and align the gas key here on the top with the groove in the bottom of the charging handle. You slide everything forward until it clicks. Now when it comes to assembling the SCR, this is where some people get a little bit hung up because unlike a traditional AR-15, you do actually wanna bring both of these lugs down into the lower receiver at the same time. Now, the important thing to make sure of is that your recoil strut here, that the tail end is engaged with the cup from your buffer system. When everything is reassembled, the back of this strut will be sitting into this cup. What we like to do is grasp firmly around the receivers here before we press in the takedown pins and cycle the action. We gotta make sure it cycles freely. 
Once that is checked and you know you have it lined up, now push the rear pin in first and then the front pin can be closed. Now let's do a quick function check to make sure everything is good to go. Again, make sure there's no ammunition or magazine loaded at all. You take the safety off, fire, hold the trigger, charge the rifle, release the trigger. The trigger should reset and when you pull it again, it should fire. And that's it guys, pretty straightforward. Now your SER rifle build is ready to hit the range. So we wanna say thank you so much for checking out our products and joining us here as we create this content for you. If you would like to learn more about our existing products, please visit our website at fightlight.com or follow us on any of our social media channels at the links listed in the video description. We will have more content coming soon, so feel free to subscribe to stay up to speed with what we have going on here at Fightlight Industries. And as always, we appreciate you guys. We thank you for your business and we'll see you next time.